Hello, in this session we will discuss about the topic of length of the perpendicular from the pole to the tangent. So let us say in this diagram pole O is there and the position or one of the point on the curve is named as P where the curve is R equal to f of theta now with this we can say that our initial line this is the initial line so the angle made by the radius vector will be actually let's say theta and this is length op as r p is the point on the curve so let's say this is r theta we are drawing a tangent to the curve that will be P, let's say PL. Also, we need to draw, since we are looking for a perpendicular distance of the tangent from the pole, so let us draw a perpendicular to this tangent from the pole. So let's say this is actually 90 degree. And let this point be N. So overall, the angle between the tangent and the radius vector will be phi. So this is phi. With this all this information, we can say, let us say that the perpendicular distance of the tangent from the pole, that is O n b p. So we can say this is p. Now, in the triangle, which is actually a right angle triangle, triangle O N P with angle phi we can say that sine of phi will be opposite side that is O N by the hypotenuse which is O P. So from here we can say that O P times of sine phi will be O N. So this means we'll get the relation r times of sine phi equal to p. This is one of the relation we are looking for. Now, using this relation, we can say that we might write this equation as 1 by r sine phi equal to 1 by p. That is by reciprocaling it. Now, if we take square on both the sides, we will have this is reciprocal now square so if we square on both the sides we'll have 1 by r square times of 1 by sine square phi equal to 1 by p square and this 1 by sine square phi can be written as 1 by r square times of cosec square phi equal to 1 by p square since 1 plus cot square theta should be equal to cosec square theta therefore this relation will be 1 by r square 1 plus cot square phi equal to 1 by p square so here we can say that distributing this we will have 1 by r square plus 1 by r square times of cot square phi equal to 1 by p square. Now we have already learned about the slope of the tangent and the relation we have got is that was tan of phi equal to r times of d theta by dr. So that means cot of phi will be 1 by r dr by d theta. So using this relation, we will have 1 by r square plus 1 by r square cot square theta. So it will be 1 by r square dr d theta square equal to 1 by p square. So overall, we can arrange this and write this as 1 by p square equal to 1 by 
r square plus 1 by r to the power of 4 and dr by d theta square. This is also one of the relation we will be using. Now from here, let us say that 1 by r is some variable u. So let 1 by r be u. So if you differentiate on both the sides, let's say with respect to theta, we'll have minus of 1 by r square times of dr by d theta equal to du by d theta. And of course, if we square on both the sides will have 1 by r to the power of 4 dr by d theta to the power of 2 equal to du by d theta square. Therefore, if we put these results in the equation we have received in the previous part, so 1 by r to the power of 4 dr by d theta square is something which can be replaced by du by d theta square. Also, since 1 by r is u, so 1 by r square can be replaced by simply u square. So with all these cases, we can say that our result from the previous case will be now 1 by p square equal to u square plus du by d theta whole square. This is also one of the relation we are looking for. So overall, when we are talking about the length of the perpendicular from the pole to the tangent, the relation we can remember is r sin phi equal to p, p is the perpendicular distance. The second one is 1 by p square equal to 1 by r square plus 1 by r to the power of 4 dr by d theta square. The third relation will be 1 by p square equal to u square plus du by d theta whole square. I hope things are clear here. Thank you.